What is going on guys? About five months ago we went to uh, New Orleans in June, went on a charter, caught uh, like 30 something redfish, a bunch of flounder, uh, trout, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to go cook these tonight. We haven't cooked any of these fish yet so we got a bunch of fish. Uh, we're going to just get one bag of it, two fillets about that big, going to be making it with corn, some uh, green beans, and yes, yeah, so it will be starting that in about two hours. We're going to throw them on the grill and see how they taste. All right, guys, so we're back in the house. Uh, Corey is going to do the initiation of the seasoning because these are my hands and eyes. Uh, so we got Sam cutting lemons uh, to go on top. That's the last thing we're going to do before we fold it up. And we're going to do the redfish and then the corn, throw it on the grill, and then we'll be back in here to show you how delicious this is. But with further ado, I'm going to walk call it Corey. I'm going to walk call it Corey. Today, Junior. <laughs> I'm going to walk Corey through the steps of doing this. So here we go, guys. Uh, first, we've got the fillet. Obviously, you're going to throw it sideways up on the tin. That's where the majority of the season is going to go. Uh, we're going to season the whole thing. We've got Old Bay seasoning. Uh, we've got Cajun, and we've got some salmon uh, spices. I know you like salmon spices. That sounds kind of weird to put on redfish, but this stuff is delicious. If we can put it towards the camera, I don't know where it's at. Somewhere over here, uh, right there, actually. It's good stuff, I promise you guys. So, let Corey season this up. Uh, then the butter will go on next. Season, season first. Season first. All right, so let's get it. And don't be scared to be a lot of, like, very generous with this stuff because it's, it's really good. It's not, it's not very overpowering. All right, uh, next, Old Bay. Can I put a lot of this stuff? Never go wrong with Old Bay. Old Bay makes dirt taste good, guys. I promise you. Next is... Uh, Cajun season, get a little bit of spice. And then next is cayenne a little bit because that gives it a lot of spice. <laughs> Going Louisiana style this time, guys. Right. Flip it. There we go. And then what we're going to do now is lay butter on top of it, put butter underneath it because it's on half shell. I don't know if you guys can tell this. Uh, we just straight flayed it down. Like, this is a very quick way of uh, seasoning eight and redfish. But uh, Corey put butter on top. And then Sam should be done with lemons by now. Or, or Sam should be. I don't know. I lost track. Anyway, just keep going. By the time we get done with this, Sam should be done with the lemons to put on top of it. <laughs> there you go. I'm trying to cut my finger. Gosh dang it. Alright, that's a good bit of butter. Once I melt, I'm going to lick that off of my finger. <laughs> this brings back uh, cold chills of what happened to the last case. Cook. By the way, if you have not seen that video, it's linked up here somewhere. Go down here. Oh yeah, for this one, we only need two. So, lemon, put it on top. Can you do this one? No, let's do three, actually. Yeah. And depending yeah. on your fillet size, it will depend on how many lemons you do. So, I mean, three is obviously good enough for this. Uh, and then, once again, what we're going to do is... We might, actually, I'm going to get Sam to cut one more. We're going to sprinkle a little bit of lemon juice just to get the process started fold this tin up and then we pull them back out we'll actually have lemon slices to actually squeeze on top of it so uh, let's get one more slice from uh, Sam and then we'll squeeze it wrap this bad boy up and then we'll move on to the corn it smells so good though. it oh, really it does. does it smells so good alright done Lemon challenge ain't nothing no more. Mm -mm. No, we've done it too many times. <laughs> Good. So you really kind of the way we wrap this thing is you fold fold one side over the next side over and then grab it like you would like horns and bend them back up like that to release all the steam out while I sit on the grill. Try to teach Corey something there. It was a bass, a crappy or a warm mouth or a rock bass. You know, might might have some other techniques of doing this, but. But we're dealing with redfish here. Just like this, when you grab it off the grill, you can just... Alright, there you go, guys. So that one's done. Now we need to get some tinfoil, and we'll show you how to do this corn really quick, and we'll put it on the grill. Alright, on to the corn now. Very simple process. What we're going to do is take, a, take the butter, go up and down the ear of corn, 
uh, then we're going to put salt and pepper on it and then of course we're going to hit it again with the Old Bay seasoning but we're not going to put too much on it you still want to taste the sweet 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 corn and uh, this stuff is delicious I promise you I've used this recipe every single time I put corn on the grill uh, and, and speaking of, of recipes, if you have a recipe, drop in the comment section below and let us know. And we will definitely either try it on the channel or try it uh, our next fishing trip at least. Uh, it's always good to uh, hear new recipes from you guys. So, drop in the comment section below. Also, if Corey is an epic fella, please let us know in the comment section below of what cooking skills Corey needs to work on. Hey, I don't cook, so I probably don't got no skills. You need to work on all of them. Roll it up, do the horns, and you're done. You're done on the grill. Complete. Now the way. Now we. Now we just wait. Oh, Except man. we gotta do like ten times more. <laughs> Roll the time lapse. Well, well, we're probably gonna need a few apples. Yeah, so. I'm gonna go check and see. All this corn. Got four fillets. And how much corn? Four pieces of corn. Which well, she cut in half, didn't she? Yeah. Alright, so the corn, the fish is on the grill. What you said be ready in like 15 minutes, right? Yeah. About probably 12 to 15. 14 minutes and 27 seconds. Exactly. And milliseconds? Yeah. Milliseconds. Oh, okay, well, you heard the man. Anyways, guys, uh, let's get this to cooking. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's been a minute since we did a vlog together. Guys. You, right. you gotta forgive me. Mind him. Anyways, guys, I'll get y'all when this is done. Stop, stop, this one. It's getting cooked. Oh, look at this. That juice sizzling, son. Uh, mm -hmm. It's close. I'd say another three minutes. You gonna do another, another three minutes? Just make sure. Alright. Oh, oh, buddy, that's hot. Really? It's flaky. They're done, they're done, they're done. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's spicy too. Guys, look how good that looks. <laughs> so flaky. Matt, it's gonna be good. It looks good, way better. Dude, why do you have a camera? Do you have like a YouTube or something? <laughs> Man, shut up. Alright, guys, moment of truth. Eat up. First bite. Good and flaky. Okay, that's gonna be a big old bite. Smoke. I'm gonna tell you what. That's like excellent. Yes! Tastes like crystals. I just want it. Shut up. <laughs> it tastes good. It tastes good. I've never had. What is this? No. <laughs> You never had redfish? No. By the way, we, we picked up Sam from the boondocks, and uh, he really doesn't eat saltwater fish. So this is actually his first saltwater fish, which is the redfish, one of the best eating fishes out there, minus the trout, which we will do a catch and cook on that. And uh, black sea bass. Yeah, and definitely black sea bass. But the catch and cook was a success. It is time to feed the family. Guys, if you like this video, let us know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. Smash the subscribe button. Join the squad. Let us know what you guys want to see next. If you want to see another Catch and Cook video on some of our seasoning secrets, let us know. Much love, guys. It's time to feed the family. It's Matt Jackson. Sam. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Corey. Before we get off, I got to taste test the corn. It's spicy. Corn always tastes good. No, I got to taste test this, man. Just like pretty good corn. All right. You in it now. Roll the outro.